What's going on guys? H Street's back with another video. So uh yeah, there has been a bit of a <laughs> a bit of a weird start to today's uh, ep uh episode. I mean like, well, of course it's not starting off a bit weird now, but for some reason, my PS4 wasn't recording some footage that I uh that that I was, you know, already taking. I mean like sure, wh wh when uh, whenever I actually like, you know, uh, you know, get out of the out of the chair menu, then like you know, it, it starts recording, or like you know, whenever a game starts. But yeah, um, I've actually had a bit of progress done over here, but because of uh, that recording issue, I had to restart my PS4, and uh, and yeah, things didn't actually turn out so well. But yeah. Um, I guess I might as well just start off from scratch and uh, and show you exactly where I left off. But before anything, um, I'm actually going to use uh, this uh, this um, uh, uh, habitat builder to actually show you guys one cool thing that you could actually put into your base. And first, it's the radio. Oh, and in that case. We actually have a new signal, so uh, yeah, I'll I'll get to that in a bit, and I'll set everything up just the way I had it because uh, that was quite a lot of progress. That was well, not really a lot, but a bit of progress uh, was actually done and lost. Um, so okay, and it's getting pretty dark out there, but um. Aside from the uh, this area that I pretty much made and lost, um, right by the scanner room, I'm actually going to set up a bit of a research area just so that uh, you know there could be you know study uh, uh, studies of um of different creatures from this planet. So well, of course you don't really have to study them. I mean like. You can just look at them. They're mainly, you know, aquariums and stuff like that that you can actually put them in. But, um, yeah. You mainly gather the eggs and, you know, put them in there for studying or even, um, or even display purposes. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> right beside the scanner room, there was, a uh, um, there, there was, there's actually going to be, uh, um, our research area. And aside from that, I don't know if I mentioned this before. This whole restart thing has driven my mind a bit crazy. Ugh. But uh, um, yeah, this place actually got flooded during the lost progress. So yeah, the the site of impact was actually here, and it took me quite a while to you know, find it. Now, directly over here, I had an aquarium set up so that, you know, um, whatever fish I put in here or alien fish I put in here um, could feel more at home because, you know, instead of being isolated, uh, you know, just how this appears, they could actually feel a bit more at home and, uh, you know, they, 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 uh, they wouldn't, you know, be so stressed. I mean, like, of course, this is a game. They don't really, like, they don't really have any kind of, like, you know, um, emotional me mechanics and stuff like that. But, uh, hey, I mean, like, uh, it, 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 it's uh, good to, you know, care for the little things as well. So, yeah. So if you're actually, you know, progressing through your story and, like, you know, you're just building your base, then, yeah, I would recommend for you to, you know, build, uh, you know, one of these um, first aid kit containers. I, I don't know the, the, the actual name. Uh, okay. Medical kit fabricator. Yeah. <laughs> it was right in my face. But uh, anyway, um, that actually, like, you know, su supplies you with, uh, with the right materials in order to, uh, like, you know, get your health back up to par. Next, uh, I'm actually gonna build a power cell, uh, a power cell uh, charger, and a battery charger, just to have it at my 
convenience. I mean, like, this is uh, just to, you know, show the essentials. Now, further down the line, um, yeah, you would have to build this, uh, this, uh, uh, modification station. So, yeah, this is actually, well, exactly how I had it set up before. Uh, well, yeah, more or less how I, uh, how I had it set up before. And so, yeah, uh, this is actually pretty much ready for, you know, living in. Um, I don't know if I went upstairs in the last episode, but I set up a bed over here. And, uh, yeah, there's uh, an, an observatory. I mean, just look at this. I love this game. They need to make more content. Gonna set up a desk over here, because why not? Make it seem like you're more, you know, aware of your surroundings and, uh, you know, just so you could study what's in the, in, in the aquariums and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, these are not the aquariums that are going to be in the, uh, in the research area. Um, just to, <laughs> just to keep that in mind. Um, they're, uh, like, uh, the, the, uh, those are actually much bigger. So, okay, I have to really get back into, uh, oh, come on, wrong position. Yeah, I really need to relearn the controls because, uh, believe it or not, it has actually been two months since I uploaded the last episode. And, yeah, I, I really need to get back into this, but, uh, yeah. This area is all set up. I mean, like, it may seem to, uh, seem a little bit cramped, but it actually makes a whole lot more room for, uh, for, you know, whatever development may happen over here. And, you know, this, all this would actually be pretty convenient as well. So, yeah. Okay. I placed a chair that I can't sit in. Oh, well. Anyway, now time to actually head over to uh, the uh, the scanner room, and or actually, it's better off if I uh, if I go outside because from there I can actually start to build the research area. The aquarium is actually going to be two stories high, or uh, two floors high, um, and the reason why I actually um, you know added the third. Is just to you know um, look down on them in you know a particular uh, position or something like that I don't know but uh, it, um, it, it just seems to be a bit fun to you know look at them from a higher perspective oh I built this completely off from the scanner room oh man I done goofed Uh, what did I just hear? I heard some kind of explosion and like, um, I'm not liking the sound. The reason why I'm actually making this out of, uh, you know, the basic compartment is mainly because, uh, well, I want to prevent as much flooding as possible. So, yeah. Because, um... What, uh, what you actually build as a base, it actually has a particular strength. And so, yeah, if, um, if something smashes into it, then, like, you know, it's eventually going to cause a bit of flooding. And you don't want that to happen. Because then, you know, if you try to find the, the, the source of, um, of the flooding, then, yeah. Oh, come on. No, not there. Okay. If, um, if you're, you know, trying to find the source of the flooding, you may actually take a bit long. And, uh, you know, you might actually end up dying if you end up, you know, completely submerging the uh, interior of your base. Alright, so I've uh, officially laid down the groundwork for, uh, for the um, research area. So, if you were to do what I'm doing right now, then it would actually, you know, cost a whole lot of resources. So, uh, you know... Start off with one. With one area. Because, uh, you know, that's going to be quite a lot of resources that you'll have to put uh, th to uh, invest into it. And, um, yeah, it's quite a lot. 
And last but not least, <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of uh, bulkheads over here, which are the doors. Just to prevent a bit of flooding because, uh, yeah, I don't want what happened last time to happen. Time to build those aquariums because uh, that's the main, uh, the main attraction to this, uh, to this area. And again, if you're actually doing what I'm doing, or, 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 um, or if you plan on doing what I'm doing, then yeah, keep in mind, this could be quite expensive. <laughs> that's creepy but yeah that's uh where you can actually store creature eggs and yeah um study them or even swim with them if uh if if anything i don't know uh if uh if they would actually attack you while you're in there i mean i haven't really experimented with that but we shall see especially with if uh if there's aggressive ones so yeah and now I'm gonna I'm gonna build this ladder. See, look, I'm standing on the glass, and so um, that's the reason why I actually made this to be you know three uh, three floors high. So here we go. All right, so now I have access to all of those uh, areas. So time to get to building. All right, so yeah, um, another bit of um, advice that I have for you guys is when you're building a base, do not um, do, uh, do not build too much stuff in it because uh, these things actually run on power. There's actually this thing that uh, that converts biological resources into um, into electricity. So yeah, um, that's probably later on down the line. But now that I've actually done all the customization that I need to uh, needed to for my base, then it's time to check up on the radio because uh, yeah. This the suspense is killing me. All right, here we go. This is Life Pod Four. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. I don't know how long we're going to last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Okay then. So we have another uh, area to visit. I mean, like, I'm going to get to these in a bit. Like, uh, well, those that you see in the distance. Uh, okay, the game kind of froze a little, a little bit over there. But um, I'm actually going to use my sea moth. And, yeah, uh, we can actually do a bit of exploration. We've been a bit too isolated for the whole ep episode. So, yeah. Uh... Let's see. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna start off. Which one's closer? Um, 1047 and 638. Okay, this one's a bit closer. So yeah. Um, also, as a memory of uh, of last episode. Okay, okay. Uh, this is creepy. I should probably turn my headphones down, I guess. I mean, well, probably not. Just so you can get my reaction. <laughs> this is... Oh, man. This is uh, such an epic game. I mean, like, it it, it, uh, it it really does find a way to creep you out. You know, get you, uh... Really into the into the moment, especially if you uh oh, okay. I think I just hit a fish there. Didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, th th this is very immersive. Oh yeah, so back to what I was saying. 
In memory of uh, of last episode. Oh man, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, okay, so yeah, there we go. Last episode, as you may know, I had to leave my main sea moth <laughs> over a thousand meters deep. And yeah. Uh, you'll have to... Okay. Okay, things just got dark. Is it really about to be nighttime? Or... Oh. Yeah. There's these times throughout the day where... It looks like it's gonna be nighttime, or even if there might be an um, an eclipse happening, but you see nothing in the sky that's actually you know covering the sun. So that's uh, quite odd. Yeah, going back to the last episode, yeah, um, I had to leave it down there, and uh, it it just. Uh, I didn't really have a beacon at the moment. I mean, yeah. I might have to go back down there and place. I might have to go back down there and uh, and place uh, an actual beacon instead of a sea moth because that's a set of resources gone to waste. Or not really gone to waste, but uh, yeah, uh, kind of left in a very dangerous area. Oh, look at this thing. I wonder if there's an egg that I can get that actually has those things. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay, there's one. There's one. I know I'm looking for the live pod, but look at this. This thing is beautiful. What a beauty. Wow. Just look at that. Now, for all this uh, this data and stuff like that, I mean, like, it may be pretty useful in order to, like, you know, unravel the, like, you know, the, the minor details within the story. But, like, you know, I, I prefer to explore. I'm, like, I'm, I'm not much of a reader, and this, this game actually requires a lot of reading. And so, yeah, it, uh, like... Well, that and um, and I'm not much of a fast reader as well. Uh, look at this stru uh, this structure, pretty creepy. But anyway, time to head back home and see if there's another signal because uh, in a top five video that I uploaded on this channel, uh, there's actually a bit of a spoiler that I actually want to get to. I mean, well, there's a bit of a spoiler that I revealed. Or kind of, kind of teased that I actually want to get to. Now going back to the uh, the, the, uh, the whole exploration thing and you know story. Yeah, I I prefer to explore. I I love open world games and like you know games like this where you can actually like you know explore and um, unravel the story. And so like yeah, the way I found uh, that uh, that very dangerous area was mainly by exploring and yeah I like um and, and, and know, knowing that, that this game actually has like quite a little bit to uh, to offer as um like um as of uh you know dialogue and stuff like that and uh well also a pretty small environment I mean like Hey, this is actually a wide open area, but like you know, it's it, it, it's pretty small, not not too expansive. Like you know, all it really has is a, is the story, and then you, uh, you know, go elsewhere, and that's it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's quite limited, but like you know, I I love this game, and here we are. We have another signal. Who? Who? 
Um, you guys heard that, right? That is creepy. That is definitely not one of the life pods. Okay, that is just creepy. <laughs> it didn't even give me any coordinates. Now, while I'm here, since it didn't really give me any kind of, uh, you know, useful signal, then... I'm actually going to uh, show you guys how the scanner room actually works. I mean, I might have shown you in the last video, but yeah, uh, let me go to... Uh, oh, actually, I think I have a creature egg in here. I mean, in, in my uh, inventory. So let's go inside one of the aquariums and check it out. Let me close the door just in case if something hits this place and, uh, you know, this place goes down under. Gotta be prepared. <laughs> so, yeah, um, now we're on the second floor. Uh, okay, there's the hatch. Here we go. Okay. Use planter. Oh, you can put different plants down here. Okay. That's pretty cool. Wait, didn't I have an egg in my inventory? Surely I did. I thought I had one. Okay, I, I guess I'll have to to, uh, to scan for one. So, yeah, this is a perfect opportunity. I did not mean to go up. That's why they need to upgrade that. Okay, there we go. Or update that. Now, let's head back to the, to the scanner room. Make sure that's secure. And let's scan for more eggs. Or an, an egg. Alright, let's go for creature egg. Let's check out the cameras and, uh, yep, nothing is being picked up. Wait, there's an egg. I'll have to set my, uh, drone over here as a bit of a, um, a marker so that I can actually see where it is. Okay, there we go. There we go. There it is. All right, so, okay, get into position. <laughs> There we go. Well, it's not really showing up, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna head over there. And luckily, it's, uh, it's nearby, so, uh, yeah, I don't really have to worry too much about that. And here we go. Oh, it's see-through. This is very interesting, so I'm gonna take this back to the base and check it out. And, uh, you know, in due time, once it hatches, then we could see what was inside. Or what is inside. So, luckily, this will be my first specimen. And here we go. There goes the egg. It went on its side, but... It's still good. It's an egg. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, interesting. That thing is actually see-through. And so, like, you know, uh, yeah, if uh, if that was actually real, then, like, you know, we, we would be able to see the development of, uh, of what was, of what is actually in it. So that's quite interesting. Let me go back to this, uh, my, my house, or my li living quarters. I should probably put a bulkhead over there as well. And here is my front door. So, there we go. I might need to set up another base in a different area. Or, 
I don't know. Because um, the scanner room is not really picking up many eggs. Maybe I should check the cameras again. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it's picking up many, many more. It's picking up a lot more. Hey, it's even picking up the, the, the one that I actually put in my uh, my research area. There we go. There's one. And this is different. All right, let's see. Where's... Uh, okay, there's the egg. My drone's light was not really shining on it. So, yeah, that was useful. So... Yeah, uh, I might as well uh, look for more, or at least one more because, uh, you know, I have one in the middle, one in my inventory, and uh, one that's going to be, you know, in another part of the uh, the base. Let me drop it right quick. Oh, and it's a small egg, so I don't know. We'll see once it hatches. Oh. Another signal. This is Avery Quinn, trading ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, not help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take <gasps> more than a week to reach your position. You still need our assistance. Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Oh my goodness. So somebody's actually on their way. Oh man. We may not have to like you know do all this anyway. This is crazy. <laughs> so this is actually gonna lead into that uh that uh spoiler that I mentioned before. So yeah, um I've done all the uh, the development in the base that I actually could, uh, or like, well, not really as much as I actually could, um, but enough to pretty much show a bit of pro uh, progression until the next episode. And uh, yeah, the rest can actually be done off camera. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, there's actually a whole lot more on the way. So yeah, stay safe because of this uh, this whole outbreak. Um, yeah, st stay at home, watch a bit more of my videos. There's actually a lot more to, uh, a, a whole lot more to watch. So yeah. And if you're new to this channel, feel free to like, and subscribe because there's actually a lot more on the way that, uh, you know, plus your life. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. H streets out. See you guys next time. And God bless. <coughs> testing, testing one, two. Okay. It's working. That's good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate it. Also, thank you for keeping up with the channel as well. If you're brand new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe because there's actually a whole lot more gameplay on the way <laughs> that I'm pretty sure will bless your life. Also, if you would like to support me in my music career, please feel free to go on Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon, Google Play Music, or wherever you would like to, uh, well, you regularly stream your music to check out my first album, Home. It's officially released. So, um, yeah. Eight Streets Home. That's H dash Streets Home. Eight Streets out. See you guys next time, and God bless.